In this extract, we will see two interesting Excel functions, index and match. We'll show them within the same video because they are often applied together. Their combination offers an interesting alternative to VLOOKUP. Let's see the application of these two functions separately and then combined. INDEX is a formula which returns the value located at a given intersection within an array. So basically, the INDEX formula needs us to indicate the following. 1. An array where it will function. 2. A row number. 3. A column number. The formula will go and find the specified row and the specified column within the array and deliver its content. For example, if we select the array from B4 to C12 in our table and choose 5 as the row argument and 2 as the column argument, we will obtain Italy as a result. The index function simply delivers the cell which has the coordinates we chose. Within the fifth row and second column of the range we selected lies Italy, right? We indicated those coordinates and index provided us the result. Let's do another try. I'll select the same range from B4 to C12. This time, let's pick 1 as the row argument and again 1 as the column argument. The result is Borussia. Given that the value in the first row and the first column of the selected range is Borussia. The next function we will see in this video is match. Match returns the relative position of an item within an array. Let's illustrate that with an example. I'll type the match function. The first argument that needs to be selected is the lookup value. In our example, that will be Milan, lying in B19. After that, we need to specify which is the array where the lookup value's position needs to be found. Let's select all teams that lie within the range from B4 to B12. The third argument is a logical value, 0 or 1, standing for an exact match and closest match. I'll select 0 as we need an exact match. Our formula is ready. The output of the function is 2, which represents Milan's position within the selected array. It is important to notice that the formula can be applied also vertically. For example, if we go and look at number of games played within the array from B3 to F3, the result will be 4 which is correct as games played is the fourth column within the array. Let's consider the combination of index and match together. This is a pretty powerful tool, often considered superior to VLOOKUP, as it allows users to have a flexible lookup value within the source table. It is intuitive to combine index and match. The first formula needs as an input relative positions within a range, and the second formula provides that. Let's see how the two functions are applied together in practice. We have a task similar to the one before, two tables. The one on the left is our source table, and the one on the right needs to be filled. Let's do the exercise in two steps. First, we'll apply the match formula to each of the blank cells in the table on the right. So we have plus match, the lookup value is Milan in cell I4. Let's fix its column reference as this will be the lookup value of our table. Okay, let's select as a lookup array the cells from B4 to B12 and fix them. We are looking for an exact match, and I'll type 0 as the third argument of the formula. Let's copy the formula on the row below as well. The results that we obtained are that Milan is in the second position and Hamburger is in the fourth position within the selected array, and this is correct. Now let's copy the two formulas for the rest of the blank cells. Okay.
So what we have here is the position of the lookup value within the source table. It does not do much work, but only for now. Let's type index in front of the match function and add a left parenthesis. Index needs an array as a first argument. The array is the range of cells among which the output of the index formula is selected. Let's select the cells from C4 to C12 and fix their row references. Then we can close the parentheses. The result we obtained is Italy. Let's recap how the two functions work together. The index formula needs as an input the number of the row within a range, right? And we have found the number we are looking for thanks to the match function. In other words, the match function indicates the position of the result and the index function extracts it. Remember, the index function's first argument is the array of the source from which we want to extract the result. The second argument of the index function is the match function, which finds the exact piece of data that we are looking for. Now I'd like to show you an example of when index match is superior to VLOOKUP. Let's cut the values under the column team within the source table and paste them in column G. Nothing changed within the table on the right. This is because the combination of index and match works, even when the lookup value is on the right. Had we used VLOOKUP and done this, we would have seen an instant NA error message. The combination of index and match is great for situations when you have an original source sheet and you don't want to change anything in it and your lookup value is on the right. We Great. Let's step it up a notch. Do you think that it makes sense to use two match functions inside an index function? I'll do my best to prove that the answer is yes. Index is a function that needs two inputs, a row number and a column number. And we can use one match function to provide us with a row number and a second match function to provide us with a column number. Sounds logical, doesn't it? The table we see here contains three rows and seven columns. Am I going to be able to use index match match to obtain the breakdown percentage for apartment buildings in Brazil? Of course, as it's a powerful combination. You already know we can use index to get information from this area here and we can apply match to obtain the row position of apartment buildings. Why can't we use match when we try to determine Brazil's column? Actually, we can, and I am going to do this here. Okay, let's start by index this time. This is the area where we can find breakdown figures. Good. I shouldn't forget to anchor all references, as this is the entire range we're interested in. It is time to use match to determine the respective row number. So I will need the row where we have breakdown figures for apartment buildings. The lookup value we'll use is apartment buildings, which can be found in the range B5 to B8. Let's fix it because it comprises the entire length of our table. Finally, we want an exact match, so I'll type zero. We are done with the row number indication. The procedure for finding a column number is completely identical. The lookup value is Brazil. While the array contains all the countries in the header. Okay? It looks like we're ready, so I will press enter. Amazing! It worked! So it is not that difficult, right? Now let's create a mini table, as I would like to show you that index match match is a powerful tool. First, we'll have house buildings and other real estate properties. These will be the two rows of the table. 
Then we need a header for our table. Let's say we are interested in seeing these values for Germany and Brazil. Okay? What are the values we expect to obtain with the function? Well, the first one must be 38%, right? This is because we can easily see that house buildings accounted for 38% in Germany. So, I can copy-paste the formula I wrote a minute ago. Now, we can replace the lookup value we had written in words referring to these cells here. Since my idea is to apply the same formula to all cells in the table, I will fix the column reference of this value. I will do the same for the name of the country. I will refer to the name written in the cell above, but this time I will fix the row reference. Okay, will it work? Of course it will. Let's apply the same function to the other cells in the table. Great! The numbers look okay. Lovely. So, what was the point of using a long function like this one? Did you notice that in this table, Brazil is on the right side and Germany is on the left side? In the source table, the order was the opposite. Well, that would have been a problem for VLOOKUP. However, obviously, it was not an issue with the index match match combo. Furthermore, the table we created is dynamic. If we substitute Brazil with France, the result immediately updates. Beautiful! We'll show you how index match match can be applied in practice when we build a complete financial model, which will be later in the course. This will do for now. See you in the next lecture.